exciting welcome back to another Need for Speed video. Today's video we're going to be playing another Need for Speed game. Not Need for Speed, not Need for Speed, Need for Speed but Need for Speed Rivals. It's it's like one of those games that was hated by everyone for reasons unknown because I've never played this game before. Well, to be honest, I did play. I've I've played about 40 minutes of it already, but that was just a tutorial. 40 minutes of a fucking tutorial. Uh, and can I say like? Forty minutes for a fucking tutorial, dude. Like, I've never, I've never played a longer tutorial than that. Like, I, I, I had a full video recorded, and it was supposed to come out yesterday. But, and, and I had it all edited down. But like, when I went to look over the footage, it just wasn't good enough, dude. It was like, it was forty minutes of me, of the, of the girls, and you're talking about like shit you would know. It's like press, press the acceleration button to accelerate. Press R two. Um. By the way, um, the, the handling on this car is, is shit, for some reason. Like, they, they for some reason they over, they they essentially made this car over like overly heavy, because it's a muscle car and you know that that's like that's like the thing that they're heavy and shit and can't turn. Like you actually can't turn in this game for some reason. But this game does have some positives though. Apart from the four minute tutorial, the shit, the shit fucking charger handling, and the other stuff I mentioned, it does look very, 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 very good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, scar shit! But it looks amazing. Like it probably looks as good or better than than the Ninja Seed, and that's just being honest. Like there's, there's, you, you can't even deny that. But you also don't get any customization at all. You get to change the color and add some livery. And that's it. Um, you you can you can upgrade your cars, acceleration and shit. But it doesn't like it's not it's not detailed enough. Like for example, I have, this car is the, uh, the acceleration of this car is fully maxed out. But you guys it just will spin. And you also I don't know. It's just it's just weird. It's just weird the upgrade system in this game. It's like it's like they try to do properly, but they they just ran out of time. So they were just like, uh, "Sure, this works, right, dude?" And then and then they took the year and he was like, "Oh man, we we, we need to get another new seed game out this year." They're like, "Sure, this piece of shit, yeah, re release that." Because as you can see, like like even though the community is pretty dead, I I, I was still. Ex like and and they've all moved on to the new game. I was so expecting to see that like at least at least a few people playing cops, but obviously, obviously not. So I'm just racing against AIs. And the the cops in this game are also terrible. Like for a game that's based around cops, and you know, since you've been the very best that no one ever was, and essentially risking it all for another thrill. That, that's the treat. They just said that in the start thing. It's like, you need to find your edge and you need to risk it all. <laughs> and, really, dude? Like, am I really risking it all when when, when there's like, there, there's like 10 cops after me and I'm and I'm going like half the speed I usually go or I'm, or I'm in the menu and they still can't catch me. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not risking shit, dude. Like, I'm almost dead. And me and this guy have been racing around the map. We're at 3,000 miles an hour. <laughs> it's then you crash into everything. And the cops still are on, on me. And they... Okay. And another criticism is that vehicle damage thing. Like, what? Why? <laughs> Just why? It's a new speed game. There shouldn't be any vehicle damage. Like, vehicle damage is stupid. Like... Unless you're playing, like, G Grand Turismo. Or Forza, it's it's super premise. It just doesn't work. Like, it essentially removes the whole purpose of the game, which is for it to be an arcade, an arcade racer. It's not very arcade if if you're putting in realism shit. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> but as I was saying, like this game does not feel like a new speed game. It feels like they were trying to go way more realistic and shit. Like. I I just had to pause to change cars because that car felt weird. It it just felt bad. Eh? It felt bad. 
and I deposited and made this car, which, by the way, this Porsche came in. Is it an, the S version link? Is the starter car. It's the starter car for this game. Apparently, this is the lowest in they, 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 they could go. It was a Porsche game. <laughs> but, as I was saying, like, the Hallands game, it doesn't really make sense. Because, in the, I'm pretty sure, the, pretty sure the previous game was, you see, 2012. So it didn't really make sense why this game that came out a year later has such different handling. Like, E2012's handling is actually kind of fun. Like, people pe pe criticize that game. Don't get wrong, it, should, it shouldn't be called Mid EC Most Wanted. Because it just isn't. <laughs> it's not EC Most Wanted. It doesn't have story mode. It doesn't have, um, like, customization. It's, mis it's missing what made EC Most Wanted mi Most Wanted. And one of the best racing games ever made. But this game, though. This game, like this game, they, they just, they were just like, fuck it, dude. We need to make some money. <laughs> we, need, we need to make some money, otherwise new speed. Otherwise we're gonna have to close down the studio. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna release this shit. And guess what? Their, <laughs> their studio still got closed down, and Ghost Games opened up instead. So, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of like a, a weird game. It's a weird game with a weird story. Like the fact. The fact it was made by two developers, and I do realize the the Sass Street games are made by like, ten developers for some reason, and uh, like ten developers around the whole around the world in like separate countries. <laughs> but this game, it was just weird because, like, I'm pretty sure Criteria had like the game almost done, and then Ghost Game stepped, and then I'm not sure what happened with them, and Ghost Game stepped in and since you finished the game. Probably just fix all the bugs. That, that was it. That was probably all they did. And then they spent like a year doing R and D for UC Tell Fifteen, and then they developed it. And yeah, pretty sick game. But this game, I could definitely see where they were going with this, and it's not really hot pursuits. I've played hot pursuit before, uh, and and like the whole thing that made hot pursuit cool was fact was. It was in the open world and the tracks are so diverse. So it filled up being hopper suits and being a good open world next week game. It seems you're filled at everything. It's a terrible game. <laughs> it's a terrible game that Presidential was just put out to make our money and they didn't really care how good it was or if it earthly earthly even was next again. They 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 stuck it on they stuck on the title. That was it. But sure. Like that, that works, right? Need for speed. 2K12. Yeah, it's HC Barbers. Like, shit names well. The story, the story aspect of this game seems pretty interesting. I'm not gonna bother playing throughout, playing the whole game just to find out what's it, what's it actually about. Because I'm pretty sure it's not an actual story. And like, like by the actual story, I mean like, like need, like most wanted or. Or undercover, or even until, or even underground one. That it wasn't it was, like underground one didn't, didn't even have a real story, but it was always there. It was like it was like it was like you know the, the story wasn't the main focus, but it was there. So if you wanted, like, like you you, you know you're always racing to like you know defeat Eddie because Eddie is like fucked you over at the start of the game. So it was always there. It was always in the back of your mind. You know, Eddie, fuck that guy. In this game, there's just, oh man, the cop is my rival. I need to escape the cop. That's it. That's the story mode of this game. The cop is my rival. I must kill cops. Cops are bad. I'm good. <laughs> or 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 for the cop. Where's are bad? Me good. Like it's it's a really stupid story and it's just shit. It, it's just shit, dude. Like. I bought this game for a tenner, I think it was. A tenner for the whole... Yeah, it, it was ten euro for the deluxe version. Which since means I got all the DLC and shit. Which this game had way too much DLC. It was like... It was like the movie card DLC, and then... It was like the Porsche DLC that came with one car, and then there was Ferrari DLC. <laughs> it just... It just wasn't worth it. At all. But... Eh. M my overall review... Okay game. 5 out of 10, <laughs> maximum. It looks pretty good, 
it's pretty it's it's pretty good thumbnail maker. Like the thumbnail that I'm gonna make for the video probably probably, probably gonna be real sick. So it's pretty good thumbnail maker. Everything else? Shit. It also doesn't have a camera mode. So that so that's kinda shit as well. Um yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, did make sure to subscribe to share, share and tomorrow there will be a Watch Dogs Two video and then the day after that will be a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and then the day after that Watch Dogs Two again. But if you guys did enjoy, did make sure to subscribe to share, share and this your boy Van Cool and reporting out. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get.